Well, first of all, what, what did you make of the game? Um, obviously disappointed with the result, very disappointed with the result. Performance-wise, um, despite the fact we, I thought we started really bright, um, then we go down to 10 men, and even then I thought we sort of stayed in the game. We probably could have got in a half-time if we hadn't conceded that goal, which again was a contentious point on. Um, I thought we came out the second half, and we were well organised, we had good shape about us, we didn't sit, and we tried to get ourselves up the pitch, and I thought at times we did cause them some problems. How much do you think the sending off affected the game? I think it changes the course of the game. I think it's absolutely massive, and I don't think there's any doubt about that. Anyone watching the game in the first 15 minutes, it was all Rotherham. Um, Swansea couldn't get in any, any sort of rhythm, and I think then that happens, and it just completely changes the course of the game. You don't want to criticise individual players, but you know Dan Ayala has been around a long time and maybe should have known a bit better. Yeah, I'll never criticise my players publicly, um, so I won't. And Daniel was man enough to hold his hand up and say that he got that wrong and he should know better. Um, I think we're all aware of that there. And the second one, again, was it a book of offence? I'm not quite sure. I need to watch it back to be, to be 100% sure on it. But um, yeah, the, the players give, out every, uh, give absolutely everything and I can't ask any more than that. And seemed to have far more belief in the second half. Yeah, they did. Um, so it's hard to change things structurally whenever the game's going on because there's messages need to go and people need to understand what their jobs are within it. And um, we'd done that at half time, and I thought we'd come out the second half, and I genuinely didn't think we looked like we had ten there. Now you've expressed <coughs> your surprise that you're still in the position that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, the received wisdom is this is going to be your last game in charge. I mean, if somebody else is coming in, it looks like somebody else is. What are they inheriting? What sort of squad are they inheriting? Um, the, the squad at the minute is slightly thin. Um, so, yeah, there's a few injuries, but those guys will be coming back. Um, there's good experience in the squad, but there's also some youth in the squad. Um, and they're, they're a really good punch. They're a mm. fantastic bunch of lads, as you can see. They'll give you absolutely everything in, in the toughest of days. Um, and that's what you can expect. And what have you learnt about yourself in the last two or three games? I've learnt that you get sleepless nights <laughs> whenever you're in a job like this. Um, yeah, I've, I've learnt lots. I need time to probably sit down and reflect on it and, and take a little bit of time to sort of gather my thoughts on it. But I've, um, I've really enjoyed it um, and I've, I've learnt a hell of a lot. And, you, and, you, and you wish your successor, whoever it is, well? 100%. 100%. Um, you know, last year I had relative success with the club along with Matt. Um, and I think when you go through a situation like that, I think that sort of gives you a, an affinity to something. So I feel that sort of affinity to the club. Um, mm. So, yeah, I will be sad to leave. Um, but um, I wish I wish whoever it is the very best of luck. And I'm going to ask you the final question: Where do where do you go from here? Probably to go and have a have a drink and a lie down, maybe. Short term or long term? I think short term I'll be knocking around doing a bit more press. Um, I'll watch the game back a bit later on, maybe with a glass of wine, because hmm. um, we've got another game Tuesday. I get ready for that. Longer term is probably a beach somewhere. I'm thinking. <laughs>